Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Morning and win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. Father Lord, we thank you. Jesus Christ, we praise you. Holy Spirit, we glorify your mighty name. God, I will see and believe in your word that says that healing, deliverance, all of your blessings belongs to us. Oh Lord God Almighty, we ask you to let your anointing fall afresh on your children here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing that breaks every yoke as they refuse to buy the lies of Satan that reminds them of their inadequacies to receive from you. Oh Lord God Almighty, your word in the book of Corinthians 5 verse 17 says that if any man is in you, he's a new creation. Old thing passed away, every other thing becomes new. Father, your children have been crucified. Their old ways of life has been crucified. Let them find that new man in you. A new man that is renewed in strength, in wisdom, in power. Father God, a new man that is created in your image and likeness to reign and to rule with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us put our hands together and clap for the Lord. Put your hands together and clap for Jesus. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. Please do have your seat. Thank you, Lord. I want to say big things to all the Synagogue Church of All Nations members around the globe. Emmanuel TV partners around the world. Lovers of Squam, our way wishes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I say thank you again. I am thanking you for your love, your care, your support, your prayers towards this great mission of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. We know that as we go the way of the cross, we will smile at difficulties. We will smile at challenges. We will smile at insults, knowing that they are meant to improve us not to impair us. As a child of God, a man and woman of faith, when you are weak, then you are strong because there is no real evil in your weakness. Nothing happens for nothing. Nothing happens by chance. As a Christian, each step you take serves a purpose. Our Father in the Lord, Prophet David Joshua, do say to us, says, a man who does not love will not forgive and cannot be entrusted with the power to heal, to deliver, to bless because they will hurt themselves and others with it. I want to thank God Almighty for his presence in Ghana. It was a mission accomplished. Thank you, Lord. And I want to let you know something this morning. When you stand in prayer to God, just picture yourself. Picture yourself. And you see a mere shadow in the picture. Everything you have, everything about you, inside and outside of you, is actually being borrowed from God. And so I say to you, my brethren, contentment is all about 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I also encourage you this morning. Pray for your persecutors. Pray for them. For if the gospel be not a savior of life unto life, it will be a savior of death unto death. I just want us to look at the scriptures in the book of Psalm 84, verse 11. Let's see what is there. Psalm 84, verse 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose work is blameless. This picture reminds you that God loves you. He cares for you. He protects you. He is your son and a shield. He will hold nothing from you as long as your ways are right with him. And so my brethren, I pray for you this morning. I pray to God Almighty to make you that man, that woman, that father, that husband, that wife, that child, whose trust is in God, in totality. Who has joy and love in seeing and knowing that God's hand is at work in his or her life till eternity. I pray for you. God will give you a new life. A new purpose. A new song. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you once again. I thank you all very much. Thank you.